JV, I have photically induced seizures. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, I have a PTSD. I was uh, recently diagnosed, a uh, very famous doctor, you may have heard of him, uh, Dr. Webb, and the <laughs> dot com. Um, apparently, I also have cancer. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I'm pretty sure that uh, the source of this is because I was raised by an alcoholic dad and a schizophrenic mother, and uh, you know that was pretty rough. Uh, kids in the schoolyard would give me a hard time about it, and uh, you know I just have to shoot back. Well, at least my parents aren't divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I also have one of these things, uh, and a little bit of uh, old age. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, um, I should say that mom uh, was not a, uh, uh, she was unmedicated and, and a lot of schizophrenics do quite well with modern antipsychotic medications, they're able to lead normal lives. So in retrospect, uh, taking them for myself, probably not the best idea. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I didn't have cable, we didn't have internet uh, back then, you, you know, if you wanted to get some interesting entertainment, you want to hear about aliens and orbital mind control lasers, you had to go to the source. Or take some high-grade LSD. I did both these things. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was a lot of suffering. Uh, she used to harass me and my brother at school, call the fire department all this sort of thing because of her delusions. And uh, I'm just glad now, knowing that uh, kids today don't have to worry about this because as you see, if you go on any school grounds, they're all nut-free zones. <laughs> Of course, it's the opposite in college, so by the time I got there, I fit right in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, her forms of her delusions were pretty classic, uh, flagrant schizophrenia, you know, uh, the government is uh, bugging my refrigerator, and they're you know, projecting thoughts about things in there, this sort of thing. I, I just, you know, when I think about it today, with this sort of equipment the NSA doubtless has now, why can't they do that, you know, something a little more pro-social, with all this uh, technology with the van outside. You're running out of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the milk's going off a bit. <laughs> JB's taking your drugs. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> so one of the results of uh, this uh, trauma is I just don't remember a couple of years of my life. They're just not there. And more importantly for me, uh, I have a hard time with long-term memory generally. Just want to have this thing, and uh, it's okay though, because I can remember skills just fine. I don't forget how to do stuff. So you know, I may not remember where I learned to play blues harmonica, or program computers, or like shift millions of dollars from one offshore account to another, <laughs> which is pretty handy. Uh, the only problem with that is I, I end up with these account numbers just kind of scattered around my desk. I'm not very organized. I don't know what they're for. <sighs> yeah, I think I started a gang war with money from the Salvation Army. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I do think that the girl guides are going to find that cocaine cash pretty handy. <laughs> We've got a big new research and development department now, and with the change in the legal atmosphere here, they've got their new very special brownies. <laughs> Which, yeah, they're actually not that great, but it's not about the flavor. <laughs> so basically, uh, I'm like a really lame version of Jason Bourne. JB, Jason Bourne. Um, I don't know how to kill people six different ways with a newspaper. I just have them read the province. <laughs> uh, like most of the other people in class, you know, I found some good ways to cope with uh, my difficulties uh, beyond just medication. I do meditation. And, you know, it just. It really, it just gets my goat, and you know, nowadays oh, there's meditation for this, meditation for a better love life, you know, increase your sexual performance, you know, whatever, just, I mean, there's all this junk out there, and, and you know, it's, it's a hundreds of year old tradition, uh, it's been around for centuries, there's a whole program to it that the Buddha taught, 
And it just pisses me off because everyone misses the point. It, it's not about all that. It's about smugness. It's about feeling <laughs> superior. <laughs> <laughs> so people, you know, uh, that, that puts some pressure on me actually when I when I tell people about that because you, know, you get expectations and, and you know I like to rant and I get pissed off and, and so like oh JB you know, I thought you were a meditator aren't you Buddhist oh JB I thought you know but did you meditate today <laughs> you're gonna have to release at least one hostage before we're willing to negotiate. <laughs> All these expectations, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>